hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again and guys today in this video we are going to learn about how to start and stop right fact services and uh, troubleshooting right fact services where we can use two mechanism or method one is debug and another one is debug with options okay i hope this video will be informative so first of all we will understand uh, uh, what is and how to start and stop right fact services so guys starting and stopping right fact services the right fact services are configured and started during the installation so at the time of installation uh, right fact services are configured and started okay second thing you should only need to stop and start services during server or network maintenance yes so you should not stop or restart services anytime suddenly you should do it on the any you know network maintenance or any change or any routine restart like weekly activity kind of things if a service stops without user intervention it is automatically restarted after 30 se uh, 60 seconds so for example if any services is services stopping without user intervention means we are not doing it manually so automatically it will restart after 60 seconds okay while configuring a service you can change the service account used for different services i will show you what does it mean in a shared service environment you can create the service configuration setting on one server save them and then copy them to another server so it is about shared environment where <coughs> you are using shared environment okay shared service environment so you can uh, create setting template on one server and you can move it to another server later on remote services appear in the list with server name appended to the service name monitoring services on remote server require network administrator access uh, to the server as well as administrative access so let me show you what it is actually okay what i have discussed so far so for example i am going to uh, this server okay our admin and let me check what is ip address or what is username of the server okay so what i am going to do here win one okay and uh, this one win r2 so let me try to add win one here if possible on the server console add server win one open server so you do not have permission okay no problem the permission is why because here i think i logged in as r admin okay yes i logged in as r admin here no problem let's see if i can add that server here open server win r2 okay win r2 i can see here added but it is not uh, green as of now so we'll see that okay 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 restart all services so guys you know this is what i was talking about the starting and stopping right fact services okay so i told you like uh, at the time of installation all services will be uh, configured in, and started and if anything is stopped automatically so it will reboot or re restart after 60 second and in share environment you can configure on one server and you can move it to another server okay and uh, you can have multiple service accounts and about uh, remote service let me tell you what it is actually so guys it is having some issue that is other thing i will uh, i can fix it so what i am trying to show you here 
these are the services okay let me take this server this server is up so these are the services you can see uh, it is running as of now okay it should run always and uh, if you want to stop it you can stop it from here you can restart service okay let me just stop this one so that is the simple concept of starting and restarting services okay guys nothing fancy in that and now you can see if it is stopped you can do lots of things you can start the service and you can start all services and you can stop all services restart restart all services and if you restart uh, all services so let's see what is happening here i gave restart all services so everything i mean all the services will be restarted here you can see here this database is stopping and you can see here <coughs> static right facts all the services are available here okay so this is the uh, this is very simple and uh, apart from this what you can do you can configure services from here you can stop service from here okay you can check status from here so let's see configure if i want to configure database module service i just right clicked here and i went to configure service now it will give me one wizard okay so it is taking time and guys for example what i wanted to show you <coughs> if you look at this server manager okay so it has name as uh oh server manager i should go server manager and uh, local server so you can see win1 is the uh, system name or computer name for this one win1 okay and uh, here i have added that win1 so this is called as a remote server i have taken another another server inside this console to manage from here okay very simple and if i go to this server rf1 r2 will be my uh, remote server okay just now i added here this r2 is my remote server so i can manage that also from here so this is the configuration and all whatever is required we can configure from here okay i hope it is very clear and if i want to stop service i can stop from here itself now for that i should have access proper access okay rights and access so if i want to do it on rf2 i can do it from it here itself for example let me just restart all services and we will go to r2 now let's see what is happening here so i am coming to r2 here and you can see services are restarting okay so this is how we can restart and start services from one computer to another computer i hope it is very clear now to start restart or stop services on remote server you must select start restart or stop option by right clicking on the remote server i told you how to do it okay for example this is my uh, it is having some issue so we can check here so if this is my remote i can restart any service i can stop very simple and uh, to open the list of configure uh, to open the list and configure a service what you can do you can go to services okay enterprise facts manager and then you can see this is running status this is disabled status this one is stopped status and not configured you should focus here this has some different this has some different icon okay and you can find it from here only so if you look at this one it is showing you not configured okay this one is running and if if you want you can stop it okay and uh, let me stop it so you can see different uh, icon here status stopped okay and if you want uh, restart simple you can go to start or restart and apart from this to restart service I, I told you how to do it okay and uh, now we'll see to start and stop service i told you everything here very simple you can follow the steps okay you can start uh, you know 
सिंगल सर्विस और यू कैन स्टार्ट ऑल सर्विसेस एट वंस ओके नाउ ट्रबल शूटिंग फैक्ट सर्विसेस राइट फैक्ट सर्विसेस सो गाइज वी हैव मल्टीपल सर्विसेस एंड देर इज अ ट्रबल शूटिंग फॉर फॉर एवरी सर्विस स्पेसिफिक सर्विस ओके एंड लेट सी यू कैन रन राइट फैक्ट सर्विसेस इन डिबक मोड so we have one debug mode for real time monitoring and logging and troubleshooting running a service in debug stops and then launches it in command prompt window for many services you can customize the parameter that you are run so let me show you what it is actually so we have this service for example i want to troubleshoot this one so i have uh, this debug debug option and this uh debug uh, debug and debug with options so i need to go to that server only particular that server and i am just selecting right facts or uh, services here and uh, for example i want to debug it so i can go to this debug okay now it will open me one uh just give okay it will show you something like it is stopping service first of all okay and uh, will come back here it opened one command prompt now it is giving me statistics of this and what is happening here the same thing is mentioned here it stops and then launches it in the command prompt window for many services you can customize the parameter that you run that that are run okay so we can change parameters here and uh, it will keep running now we'll see little more several services such as work host worker host conver uh, conversion engine and sync model launches in the diagnostic window where you can customize the logging or trace level group by category and save the output to a text file or other file format so whatever the output is coming here we can uh, we can save it and the diagnostic window shows error and warning in different colors and allow the service to be uh, to be started stop paused and resumed so this is the path or uh, steps you have to follow you need to go to services and that particular service right click and debug so can run immediately using the default parameters and the second one is like debug with options to view and as needed change the parameter before running debug so we have here multiple options and it will be a default parameter uh, troubleshooting okay if running debug in, uh, interactively with options a debug window opens uh, with a checkbox for each available parameters select the checkbox of the parameters you want to include and clear those you don't want as you select or clear checkbox the switch for the parameter is added to the to or removed from the command line below let, let me show you what it's actually some parameters such as running the service in a window cannot be changed and these are the parameters okay let me show you what it is for example let's see first service and default parameter so if we talk about right facts talk transport model okay so this is a default uh, uh, parameter for this like uh, doc transport dot exe hyphen one hyphen d but other parameters are what it is actually so you can see run in console hyphen one source diagnostic <coughs> output minus d output event log okay uh, run in console this is for run in console and minus one source di diagnostic is minus t hyphen d output to event log is hyphen e and output to log file is hyphen o enable profi uh, profiling is hyphen p these are the available parameters now if we talk about write fax server module so here you can see fax serve dot exe hyphen one hyphen t and again we have multiple uh, parameters here okay so let's see whether it is available or not and it is working or not so start all services first of all so 
this one is a default parameter running okay and if you want you can save it uh, you can save it so let me show whether it is copied or not so let me take not it not bad so I captured a couple of things from that okay and later on we can investigate later on for troubleshooting and all okay for example you can see here this database database model started successfully okay here you can see so this is how very useful for troubleshooting and all okay now we'll see about uh, the next one is which is debug debug with options so if you click this you are getting debug hitfax database module and here we have this the first one run in console hyphen one and show diagnostic output hyphen d if i don't want this i can remove it okay and if i want the next one i can check mark it for output to event log hyphen e output to event log hyphen e and if i don't want this then i can select output to log files okay so let me check this and i remove this and i can run it so just give it and stopping again services and some some of the uh, you know corresponding services also So again it is coming one window wizard here and the command which we gave is executed here okay and you can see database module started successfully at uh, date and time it is showing and uh, it will generate a couple of uh, you know uh, details I should say so I'm just closing it uh, let, let me go back and just give one more time some some other parameter we will give i am giving this many parameters okay let's see what is happening i give everything so you can see here uh, <coughs> this is already running here okay and uh, so it will take some time to you know capture all the parameter output okay whatever we gave here so it is very helpful and very simple in troubleshooting and these are the parameters this for uh, doc transport uh, and this is for server module and apart from this we have for database also okay and uh, rpc server and uh, write facts queue handler write facts uh, paging uh, server module okay and write facts work server so these are the parameters you can check this site available parameters and uh, <coughs> troubleshoot and fix the issues accordingly okay now let's see some other parameters like right facts integration module so here you can give show uh, diagnostic output hyphen debug okay and uh, this is available parameter and apart from this again right facts alert module we have parameters so guys you try try at your lab or on your lab okay for testing module so here i am done with the basic concept of uh, troubleshooting or uh, right fact services with debug and uh, uh, debug with options i hope this is informative and clear to understand how we can use parameters okay to fix the problems and uh, <coughs> some issue is coming <coughs> sorry so guys if you want to understand if you want to learn right facts more what you have to do is just you know subscribe channel and stay with the channel and in next video what we are going to learn is another topic which is uh, monitoring uh, server statistics and queues it is very important to have clear idea about it so i will be discussing this in my next video if you want to uh, learn and understand, please do subscribe channel and I will meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.